I'm Clemens Benjamin. Welcome to my channel. And today we are looking at Trend Constraint V1.03. We have our source code here. And I'll go ahead to MetaTrader 5 real chart to see the results of this new development, uh, our new version. Remember everything I told you about versioning. And this is a property version here 1.03 and all the other features of our system included in the source code i'll not explain too much here uh meta editor you can edit your code and you can compile that is if you want to export so that you can share with friends or upload on mql5 uh here you can Press the real-time button to start profiling that's testing on MetaTrader 5. So, I have already pressed this button and the indicator is included on the indicator list. Let me dive to MetaTrader 5. So, this is my MetaTrader 5 window and let me minimize this alert window. Uh, under the indicator here i have my trend constraint v1.03 and all the other versions here so i will drag and drop to my chart press ok right you can see we already have some arrows on the chart from our indicator but before we start analyzing and criticizing let me add the moving averages that we are uh, using uh, in this tool uh, remember our chart as you can see this is boom 500 index m1 these are synthetics and they are found on derive.com I included the link in the article where you can go on the review and uh, create your account demo for testing. If you want to test this on synthetics, you can also do on currencies from other brokers. It's up to you. So let's go ahead to insert indicators trends and this is moving average we want to use moving average 100 and we want it to be exponential let the color be blue there we go it's added insects indicator this time we are using moving average 200. Let it be simple. And let's use red. There we go. So you can see, uh, let's see if our new feature is working. So, this, according to the presentation I did, I said for crossovers of these reversals, we are using purple and the green, purple for cell reversals and green for buy reversals. So, here we first encounter our crossover from a market that was uptrending here as i present with this arrow market was trending upwards and when we see this crossover a signal is protruded and it's in support of the new trend we have a continuation signal uh, here and here however we have a reversal 
This is because of this crossover. Immediately, we receive another crossover and a signal here. This is an issue, but I'll address it in the later articles as we continue refining this system. For those signals that worked, let's see what happened here. Here, there was a strong support. The market is failing to proceed downwards. And this support is the one which resulted in our idea. Okay, let me consider closing the navigator window so that we have a bigger view. I'll draw a trend line touching this point and this point. Okay, there we go. You can see this is a triangle. This price line and this trend line, they show us a triangle, something that we'll look at in future articles as we address uh, geometry. Uh, you see the market broke here and price that going upwards we also receive a crossover from these moving averages and our signal here when the crossover has passed and this signal worked and we have a movement upwards and it's in trends you can see highs and lows highs lows and just like that, when we reach this level, we see another crossover and the market is now taking a new course downward. We start to receive signals of progress. We had a challenge here again when the market moved sideways. We have a reversal signaling and a continuation signaling from the same indicator and we have to address this problem we have to address this problem i think by adjusting our moving averages so that at least we have a bigger moving average versus a smaller moving average like this 200 moving average will we're going to put values maybe 300 to see so that we got rid of these fluctuations and only receive potential reversal signals so this is our system remember trend constraint idea is constrained uh our signals to d1 sentiment so our opening price here we can see our day was bearish then a reversal happened in that bearish day and presented a buy so apart from just constraining our signals to the sentiment of the day if we encounter a reversal along the day, it would be wise to take the new course or not to trade. Just as you can see, when the new course was presented, we no longer have signals in this zone. Though our day is bearish, according to RISI, these levels or these positions will be in the overboard zone of our RSI. Let me add the RSI window so that you can see. Oscillator RSI period 14. Okay, so you look, you see the zone here, it's in the overboard zone. 
and we are not getting any signals in the chart because it's an uptrend according to the reversal we received here the market proceeds and we start to have sell signals and these fluctuations and the RSI overbought signals were presented and we moved along the trend. Hopefully this video was helpful to make you understand uh, what we are really looking at, what we are really studying. Uh, we will keep refining our system, adding new ideas, more ideas, new features and studying more and in this process i hope it will be helping those who are starting and those who are advanced you can also extract some ideas from these videos from these articles uh, and add to your own system uh, my desire is that at the end of the series we will or uh, explore how such problems like this can, ad can be addressed using AI and machine learning. So we are going far and a lot is going to be studied. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and share.